thanks for stopping by. I'm doing another coffee mug for the uh, Relay for Life, which is the American Cancer Society. I'm, I'm going to be involved in the boutique in November. And, you know, I just want to take my time and get some things done for the boutique. Uh, this here, I've got a couple different pieces of things that have inspired me. This came out of my friend Marie, um, her garden. And I'm actually wanting to do uh, more than just one. And I was actually looking at this Penny Black stamp set. Now, to me, I was thinking, oh, well, I'll just put some, maybe some black Sharpie or some um, archival ink, stamp the, um, on it on the stamp and just put it here as a guide. But it doesn't, it doesn't work on the ceramic. So we're just going to freehand it. Okay, so just, I'm just going to kind of set this over to the corner here so you can see my thought process here. Um, this here, the stamp set doesn't have the detail like this, but I like this whole thing, the way they have it together. So I'm going to kind of go with this. Um, the colors that I'm using are multi-surface paints, and I got them at Michael's. They're a Craftsmart brand. And I'm going to start with the, oh, I guess you could call this a red, but it's sort of not all the way red. It, it's just very close to this picture here, but not quite. And then we got a little bit of orange in here as well. I'll grab another paintbrush because I'm just going to use this as like a mix. I'm going to set it side by side and then I can kind of blend them in together. Because we've got kind of a, a pinkish orange flower here. So, And I don't know if you guys can see, but as I'm mixing my paint, there's, there's a little bit of um, streaks in as the two colors mix. That's what I want my flowers to look like. I want to have that, that streak or that texture. A little bit too much water in that. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to start with this one here. And um, it's not a perfect circle. You see that it's kind of a half moon here maybe and then up like that. So I'm going to just, this is just to start out with. This is, you know, not permanent. Um, you have to bake this paint at, uh, you know what, I think it's 350 for 30 minutes, but um, read the instructions. Okay, so there I've got my first one. It's a little bit more flat on the bottom and more round on the top. So then I have this guy right here, and this to me is, I'm looking at like a triangle, right? And it's not quite touching, but it's very close. So let's just put a little triangle there right now. And it's got a little, little swoop in the middle. Again, this is just the base. Then I have this one down here that's, you know, a few inches down. And it's going to have another one here. So we're just going to, it's it's actually almost a complete circle, right? So I'm just going to use that like that. And then we have this guy right here, which is, again, flat on the edge. And it's going to go up around. All right, and then we have this little guy right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some more color on my brush. And he's kind of tilting over to the side. Kind of like that. And then this one here, which is almost like this one, because it's a little triangle. So we're going to make our little triangle. Just like that. Okay, nice. Now let's just see what the proportion of the different flowers are. That one's a little uh, bigger than this one, so let's go in here, make it a little bit bigger. That one's even bigger, so let's make that even a little bigger. And then that should do it. Now we can start putting in the detail. The detail, which I'm, I mean by um, the what we see here. Okay, so I'm going to take some orange, mostly orange. There is still a little bit of that red on there. And as it dries, it's I'm completely off camera here. As it dries, it will um, it, it will it, it'll be easier for you to do your um, detail of the flower. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up. See if you guys can tell that there is definitely a little bit more color and detail in that flower. And for this one, you know, I kind of got to do this in my head because. You know, there's there's no texture or detail in that stamp. Um, there is here, so I'm kind of combining both for inspiration. 
and it's fun you know you can use your your paintbrush in so many different ways you can streak it like this get a little water on it bring in the two colors together bring it just like this the more water uh, the more you're going to pull away from that color so you can use the white cup as your um, as a little bit of a texture in your project okay now I'm going to put a little bit of white in here and then I'm going to kind of pull it all together I keep using that word but that's really what I mean it's got a little bit of orange on it so I'm going to clean it off I don't want it to get orange inside my white paint here Okay, I'm going to bring that right there because I kind of want to pull in that little bit of pinkish orange color. I don't want it to be completely white. And I'm going to go right on the edge here. And that's going to give it a little bit more of a definition. I'm sorry, I keep getting completely off the camera here. Let me um, adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, that, that'll do it. Okay, um, my paintbrush is a little bit wet. So I'm going to go in dry it off a little bit because it's kind of um, you know taking away the paint <laughs> which that's not what I wanted to do it's all right though this is fun it's all fun it's not nobody's being you know judgmental or anything or you're not gonna win a prize you're just making something fun for somebody hopefully the donations will go help somebody else who needs the money to get through their cancer treatments or whatever it might be okay so whoops bring a little bit more of that white just you know adding it like around here that the poppy seems to have you know this circle um, design here nature has given it this beautiful circle design put some more back down there that's a little less of uh, water you can do this as well You don't have to brush, you can just use the brush as the technique that you want to give it some texture. Okay, and then I'm going to just look at my stamp there. Because that's good, I got so okay, so um, let's go right here on this one. And do a little bit right here. And then bring in a little bit here. Now, if um, I just want to clarify too, I this is all something that I've done, I've never done before. This is all new to me. Um, I do like to paint. I I just haven't had a chance to take any classes in my lifetime. I, and you know what? That's not true. I think I took a watercolor class in college, but um, you know that wasn't yesterday. So I'm back in it, and I love it. Okay, now the, the middle of the poppy actually um, looks like it's black, but um, you know, instead of using black, I'm going to make it purple. And I'm going to actually get a smaller brush. Let's bring these in here. Because the purple and the orange is really pretty colors together. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to pull some purple out here. I'm not going to dilute it. I'm not going to mix it up with anything. I'm going to make sure that my paintbrush doesn't have too much on it, though, because I want to start light, and if I need to build, I'll build. I keep covering up my flower here. Okay, so I've got this circle here, and it's kind of got like a little texture to it, so I'm going to use this paintbrush to just go around like this and give it some texture. I like uh, the effect of me putting the white down first it's really making that that purple pop um, that was not my intention oh I should say it was right I meant to do that and we're just gonna bring that circle around um, so for some reason my printer does random things like that it just starts to make noise okay so then I'm gonna bring this one here and then this one down here Isn't that nice? And then um, this one really doesn't have a middle and this one as well. So we're just gonna leave that alone. All right, let's go back in. It's dry as it's drying. You can 
play around with it a little bit more. Nice. Okay, I've got quite a few leaves on here and I have to admit, leaves are my thing that I just don't do a very good job at. So I'll just do my best. That's all that matters. Uh, we do need some pink in here though. And we don't have like a pink pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and dilute this pink and put a little bit of um, pure white in here instead of the, the off white that I was using down here. I put it right there. And I really have way too much here because it's just gonna dab uh, the middle of where the purple is. I have a little bit of water in here. These paints reminded me a lot of the acrylic paints, uh, but they're not acrylic. And when I'm saying that, because they, they mix very easily with water, um, and uh, they smooth, they, they're very smooth when you're painting with them. All right, so I'm just gonna, just for whatever reason, I'm gonna put that in there. All right, so that flower just doesn't have a big blob of color in it, right? We're going to take our paintbrush and give it a little bit of texture. All right, let's dry that off. I'm going to do the, the leaves. Here we go with the leaves, people. We're not good. I should stop. I need to stop saying that. I'm saying I should eat. I should, I'm going to, I'm going to think of this positively. Say, so I'm going to get this. I'm really going to get this. Okay, so on this stamp set, we've got some stems that are going down like that. My paintbrush is too wet. Let me get that dried off a little bit. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna switch paintbrushes because this one here is a little bit too big. I'm gonna go for this little skinny one. I feel like I have more control when I'm doing the stems with that. I think these have numbers on them. Oh, this is a number one, okay. Huh? Sounds like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the stem right down here and I'm gonna pretend like it goes underneath that one. And I'm gonna bring it down here and I'll finish it down here. I'm not too concerned about taking it all the way to the bottom. All of a sudden I got really quiet. I stopped yapping. Okay, then I've got this stem right here that looks like it goes underneath these flowers and it's gonna come right down here. Like I said, I'm using this as an inspiration and not doing it exactly the way it is. And then this guy's right here. Yeah, I thought I would save some time by trying to stamp on it. Uh, with my little experiment that I did. It just doesn't quite work. Okay, so then this guy has, we'll just say he's got a leaf, I'm sorry, a stem that comes down here. Okay, now there's a lot more stems and leaves and stuff like this going on in here. So let's go ahead and bring a stem right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just gonna turn my cup a little bit. And it's got a little little tiny bend of a leaf there. You could also do these with the oil based um, Sharpies, but I'm doing it this way. Okay, now I'm just gonna ad lib here. Just gonna kind of put my own leaves in there. Um, the one thing I can uh, suggest too is when you're painting with the multi-surface or the ceramic paint, um, you can paint, you know, what you want it need to paint, want to paint, let it dry, and then load up your paintbrush again and um, paint over the same thing, but it'll just make it a little bit darker and it'll give it a little bit more texture. We might be able to do that with this cup here. See how this green is really, really light? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like there's another leaf here. I'm gonna put it very, very lightly. I'm just filling in the blanks, basically. Okay. 
that's nice. All right, so now that it's dried a little bit, I'm going to load up my paintbrush, and I'm going to come back. It has to be loaded. You can't, if your paintbrush is wet or doesn't have enough paint on it, it's just literally going to lift all that paint right off of there. Kind of defeat the purpose, right? And again, dab, dab, dab. Give it a little texture. It looks very pretty. And a little bit here. Some of the leaves I can actually leave um, lighter, the leaves and the stems. Okay, um, I think what I want to do is I want to give this a little bit more texture. So I'm going to dip it in my reddish color. This is the small paintbrush again. And for now, I'm just going to flick it up like this. I did add some white to it. So I, I want to go over that white. That'll kind of defeat the purpose of what I was doing there. And then I can just kind of flick out here and there. Flick out, that may be not even a term in the artist world, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that gives it even a little bit more character. I think I actually touched my hand on that one there because that one looks funny where I just originally painted it that way. All right, you know what? I think I'm done. Um, I may play with it a little bit later as it dries, um, but that kind of shows you what you can do. You can, you know, pull from pictures that you have, pull from um, the outline of a stamp set, um, you know, whatever, and just play with it. Like I said, it's relaxing, don't stress out. It doesn't have to be exactly like the picture. And I'm saying that only because I am, have did that for a while. I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like the picture. But then I realized, you know what? It's your own interpretation of what you're looking at. So, all right, everybody. Thanks so much. Oh, one last thing. If you make a mistake, I have these little um, Fantastics coloring tool brush point. This is not the reason why, this is not the right way to use this tool, but this is isopropyl alcohol. And if you make a mistake... I'm going to just show you what that is here. You just take a cotton swab or even a paintbrush if you want, um, if you don't have these. And, and you can, I don't want to erase too much. You want to make it too wet, but you can really just, it just helps erase it. See, I've made that stem go away just like that, which I'll fix. And this will not work after you bake it. It's, it's not going to work, so do it now. Fix it now, people. All right, everybody. Um, Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, um, I could always use some um, help with my painting. If you're um, experienced in stuff like this, I uh, would love to hear your ideas. Have a great day.